Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to attempt another um, really neat optical illusion. So I'm going to start with a ruler and a pencil and we're going to find the center of our square. So to find the center, I'm just going to draw a super light line going from corner to corner. And that marks the center. I actually can go back and erase. I don't need those lines. I just needed the center. When you're doing optical illusions, having a really nice sharp pencil or mechanical pencil and then a good eraser and ruler really helps. Okay, so I have the center of my um, square and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a circle. So I can either find a water bottle um, or a template, a can, something that I can trace a circle with or I can get a compass if you're going to get a compass, this center point actually lines up with the middle and you just hold on to the clear wheel and then put your pencil out in one of these little holes. And I'm not going to make a huge circle. I'm just going to put it right here and you spin the compass around back and forth to make your circle. Okay. So I have a circle here. And then I need my ruler and I'm going to mark um, some marks on the side of my paper. I'm actually going to use the centimeter side and I'm going to mark every centimeter. It is very important when you are doing optical illusions that you measure because that is what actually, you know, helps to trick the mind um and make things look like they're moving so i'm gonna mark one centimeter all the way around there's 10 centimeters on each side of this it really doesn't matter where it's lining up just as long as i'm marking every one centimeter after i do that i'm going to draw a grid so i'm going to connect one side to the other But when I get towards the middle where the circle is, I am not going to draw through the circle. So I'm actually gonna stop and pick back up. You're gonna do this all the way across on both sides, going horizontally and vertically to make a grid going behind your circle. Feel free to pause this video as needed so that you can catch up on your own optical illusion. If you hear people in the background, they're starting to test in my room right now, I apologize. Testing's almost over. Very exciting. Okay, so I'm just continuing to line up those lines, not going through my circle at all. You will need a Sharpie, probably a regular Sharpie, not a thin tipped for this. Okay, I'm gonna erase this center point. We don't need that anymore. And this is where it gets a little tricky. So this center line right in the middle of my circle, I am going to continue that straight. Just the one that's right in the middle of the circle. but the other ones are gonna kind of curve. So I'm gonna connect this one to this one, but I'm going to do it in a curve. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. So it kind of curves towards the curve of the circle. 
and top and bottom. I'm gonna have it curve out towards the curve of the circle. And here as well. So right now, it kind of starts looking like this circle has a little bit of a shape to it. And it's especially gonna look like that when we color it in. So we're gonna be coloring in every other box black and leaving the other boxes white, or you could even do another color like red or blue, totally up to you. So what I would do is I would go through and mark every other box. And the next row, it'll start opposite. And then you'll go back and you'll color. Okay, so that's black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. All right. It does get a little confusing in the circle part. Black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. just easier to plan it out ahead of time so you don't get confused while you're actually coloring. This is really confusing. There's the black one right there, tiny. Black, white, black. All right, the last step would be to go back, kind of outline that box and color it in. Do the same thing for the circle ones. And eventually you're gonna have a really awesome 3D optical illusion. Good luck with your design.